more guys and I'm almost there. I'm just putting up some other role plays in case we want to screw around with these. So basically, um, wow, look at this class. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of scared to actually even start class. <laughs> I, I'm afraid someone's going to either get in a fight or otherwise, you know, the, uh, the, uh, the people that manage Kalinga are going to be like, you let those guys do what? <laughs> <laughs> so, so for those of you um, that haven't haven't been around, so Servette and um, Elmer, yeah, I don't think you've been in these uh, these role play games, and and um, uh, also you, uh, I'm just gonna call you uh, Mo until you change your name. All right, uh, Sean, I think you've been in them as well. So basically, guys, uh, there's the games that we play. There's a new one. And it's, it's, it's role play too, okay? But it's not this like whiny role play of, you know, tell me your favorite meal. So we have a new one called the defense rests its case. So basically what that is is you might be involved in a scandal. Like we had somebody who um, ended up killing, uh, killing 12 people because of her magic mushroom dish. Another person who got like 250 people sick. We had Lance Armstrong on where Lance Armstrong had to defend himself on Oprah. When it came to when it came to uh, doping, all right. So we also have this game here, the deal, all right. And what the deal, what the deal is, is two people choose something to sell. They're both the salesperson, and then they're trying to sell to one person. And you can sell anything from a pig heart to the Death Star. We sold a uh, Colingo teacher one time. Um, you can sell time itself, maybe sell some time back to somebody. Uh, any musical group or singer except Justin Bieber. All right. Okay. <laughs> so, so yeah. Oh, you want the you want the link? <laughs> okay. So Fatima, Fatima wants the link. Okay. You can. There you go. It's there. Um, so all right. So what I'm going to do is just because. There's some people here that have been playing these games for a long time, okay? Um, Paul, pick a number between 1 and 10. 2 million. 2 million, okay. Uh, Furcon, pick a number between 1 and 10. 7. 7. And Laurentino, a number between 1 and 10. 8. 8. And Mustafa, a number between <laughs> 1 and 10. 6, okay, it's 5. So Mustafa, what, what game are we going to play? Cheater. I said I'm not cheating, you guys know I always choose five. You know you know that five's the first one every time. I'm surprised you guys haven't learned that by now. Every time it's five. I've, I've never have never gone off that. So Mustafa, Next time which one is smarter. <laughs> which, which time it, which one is it, um, Mustafa? Is it the defense rest its case or the deal? Uh, I let four can choose that game. <laughs> For okay, all want. right. <laughs> mm, second one, defense rest is case. Defense rest is case, okay. Well, Furkan, or uh, Mustafa, since you gave in like that, since you caved in so easy, you know I, lo you know I don't like weak people, Mustafa. <laughs> so now I'm going to let Furkan. Furkan, Mustafa has to defend himself. What, what did he do? And it has to still be clean, okay? But what, what did he do? I don't know. What did he do? No, you got to choose it. You know what? What did he do? Did maybe his horse? Maybe him and uh, Mo have, have been in a horse race, and he did something to uh, something wrong to his horse. I mean, I don't know. You know what's what's the latest scandal? Maybe he was caught trolling on the internet. <laughs> did you, do you want do you want to put that where he got caught trolling, and now there's a penalty for trolling? <laughs> Okay, for example, Mustafa's horse attacked mouse horse. <laughs> okay, good, good. This is great. This is great. So, so Mo, hey Mo. Yes. Are are you up for this? Yeah. So what happens here is in this scenario, uh, Mustafa's horse uh, attacked your horse, but Mustafa's not claiming responsibility. <laughs> what? Okay. Horse attacks another. Yeah, horse attacks another. <laughs> Because um because your horse was in heat, that was the problem. Your your horse was in heat. Okay, all right. And um and yeah, Paul's gonna be the judge. You, you'll be the first judge this time, Paul, if you don't mind. And um, let's see, Servette. 
Yes. So, Servette, you're gonna you're gonna be the um, the horse doctor, okay? So you're gonna have to be the one that that is a a special guest witness to this case, okay? All right. So basically, this is just like a trial. Paul's the judge, okay? Uh, Mustafa is the defendant. Uh, Moa is the plaintiff, okay? Because he's the one who's pushing the case against Mustafa. <laughs> because Mustafa's horse attacked his horse uh, when his horse was in heat, <laughs> but you're you're the special guest witness doctor that's going to help explain, you know, just why all this happened. Okay. So somebody's okay? somebody's horse hit somebody and somebody. <laughs> no, 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 no. So what happened is, <laughs> check out these guys. Both of them have horses. Mustafa has a horse, and uh, okay. Moa has a horse, right? Okay. Okay. So what oh, happened okay. is. <laughs> Yeah, so Moa's horse was in heat, all right? Because of that, Mustafa's horse just went crazy <laughs> and attacked her, okay? Mm. But, it, but it caused some pretty severe damages. And guys, remember, no no cuss words, no references to... Uh, anyway, you, you guys know, keep it clean, okay? So, mm. Servette, do you think you can play the part of a horse doctor? Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Judge Paul... Whenever, whenever you're ready, go ahead. Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm not sure with the name of the second guy. Uh, yeah, yeah, Moa. But he, it, it's, Moa. it's yeah. Moa. What's your real name? Abdu. Abdu. But yeah, but ah. he won't change. Yeah, he won't change the bottom part. I don't know why. He's been in debt of my glasses. FB, he won't FBI. change. It. <laughs> Is on yeah. the <laughs> no problem, so, next time. But uh, teacher, <laughs> we student. don't see you until next uh, Thursday, I think. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. Well, no, I don't, I don't know. Well, don't, don't worry about that. Let's just worry about your horses, okay? Right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> just you worry about, don't you worry about me. You just worry about your horse, okay? <laughs> no, Go ahead, miss Judge. You, teacher, we miss you. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, okay. Judge Paul. <laughs> Mr. Moa, you claim that the Mustafa's horse attacked yours. Is it true? Yes, it's true. So what? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, uh, what's the the consequences? Uh, so, was your was your horse hit or hurt? Why you sued him? I'm not sure. Honor, my horse is died. <laughs> because your horse, <laughs> your horse died. Yes. So, have you seen the moment when Mustafa's horse killed your? Because kill yours because uh, as for me it's uh, pretty hard to imagine how one horse can kill another. But but by the attack the, of Mustafa, my horse is die. It's, okay, uh, I, I have to I have to ask you: Do you use any drugs? No. No. Okay. Uh, can your doctor yeah. prove it? No, yeah, I, I don't I, ask I, for the horse doctor. I'm asking for Moa's doctor because I think that <laughs> that man he's because <laughs> you know I think he's on the drugs. Elmer, in comes Elmer. Elmer, so you, you're uh, <laughs> you're Moa's doctor, okay, Elmer? Surprise witness. Go ahead, Elmer. Okay, Mr. Ferreira, tell me about Moa. What kind of drugs you prescribe him? <laughs> Um, oh, oh no, you know, please. Moaz is taking carbolidium and he takes it. What is it? Mm. It's a prescripted drug to control hallucinations. Is it some psychotropic agents? I'm sorry, say that again. Did you prescribe him any kind of psychotropic agents? Yes, I did. Okay, so in this case, I I think that the uh, I think that Moa, you know, just can claim for sure that he seen he saw. I'm sorry that Mustafa's horse attacked his because he's using drugs. So maybe. 
maybe he don't even have a horse. Well, um, Moa, certain... you know, I think that you're a, you're not stable, man. You're on the drugs, and your doctors say that you that you use some psychotropic agents. I can't believe, I can't believe you. I. The case is close. I don't have the drugs. <laughs> <ever. laughs> no, no, come on, come on. It's, it's got to go. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Colin, Colin Servette. I haven't seen Servette in this game yet. Let, let's see if Servette can uh, can testify yeah. that there was a yeah. real horse where's, there. Where's the doctor? Where's the horse doctor? Yeah, here. Hello, Elmer. <laughs> Elmer. Okay, Talk, Mr. Servette. Yes. Have you have you, do you have any any proofs that Mustafa's horse attacked Ma's horse and that uh, Ma's horse died? Can you can you say this? According to my diagnosis, I found mouse horse is pregnant. So what? I think are you kidding me? No. So according to our scientific research treatment or whatever, uh, I think Muhammad's horse raped uh Mo's horse and what? that's why Mo's horse committed a suicide i don't think Mo's muhammad's horse attacked <laughs> uh Mo's horse you know in this case mr mo i don't think that we can bring your mustafa's horse to justice because <laughs> we don't have any any permission to do this with uh with animals so i think that mustafa is innocent and you just had to uh, to take care about your horse better, so the case is closed. I'm tired. I want to go home. Super Bowl is coming. <laughs> Come on, Come on, man. You gotta, you gotta let it run a little bit longer than this. This has been like a five-minute case. G give it, give it a little bit more time, Paul. Okay? He, he stole <laughs> five more minutes. He's absolutely Anna, crazy. Anna. He had it pregnant. Anna. Dragon oh, no. Force, oh, no. season <laughs> of the drugs, man. <laughs> honor, honor. Please, listen to yeah. me. I'm I was with my, with my heart in the forest. Suddenly, I see Mustafa and his horse running, uh, running to me. <laughs> Then I fall, and my heart clash, uh, clash uh, into the rock. And after that, he died. Uh, he died. Do you have any witnesses? No, Mustafa. <laughs> Mustafa. Oh, that's okay, Mr. Mustafa. Yes. Do you agree with the point of view of Mr. Moa? Mm, uh, no, because he come uh, near to my farm and I think he don't care about his horse, so his horse come and eat my horse food. <laughs> then my horse be nervous and attack his horse. So your so farm honor, is please. near the forest. So honor, right. please. Honor, Shut please. up, please. Shut up. <laughs> Mr. Mustafa, does yes. your does your farm located near to the forest? Uh, my farm located near to the main streets. Guys, one of you is liar. So but but he but he tell you his horse attack my horse guys you're clowns do you have floors you don't have horse i have floors I, I have horse <laughs> i <laughs> you 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 can get near the end paul go, go ahead okay Lawyer. so um, more I think that you were stoned because your doctor said that you are 
kind of you know drag abuse person and Mustafa uh, you're I just think he, strange I man think, I don't know I'm not sure that first, your your horse actually eat no. or, or, or kill, <laughs> killed more more horse it's kind of weird case you know so and you don't have any lures so I think that yeah Mustafa you can go home and more you can go you can go to to the hospital yeah that's <laughs> my you, okay. that's fine <laughs> this is the first time we let the judge pass judgment so but but good call very good call okay all right so um so let's see here so Mustafa you yes. won that one what's the what's the next case who who has to well actually so Furkan has to defend himself Mustafa what did what did Furkan do? Mm, what did Furkan do? Uh, Furkan stolen the bank. <laughs> no 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 no. It has to it has to be something that's that's not so not so okay. cut and dry. It has to be something that's you know mm. that he can defend against. Like um, he it's a dog. <laughs> Uh, for can mm, uh, sell horse meat, bad horse no, meat. No, we're not going to do horse meat. The whole <laughs> not everything's going to be focused about horses. You know, there's there's an expression in the United States. We call it a one trick pony. I kid you not. There's an expression in the United States called one trick pony, and all it's about is <laughs> I'll show you one trick pony, and all it is is Stop when you just keep. Uh, one trick pony. It's where you only have the same thing and get it and get it. And you keep repeating it, okay? So no, don't be don't be one trick pony, okay? <laughs> so so let, let's choose <laughs> let's choose something a little bit better. Paul, Paul, did you have one up your sleeve or Servette? Did you have an idea? Uh, maybe. Yeah. He, maybe he played done. basketball in. In his room, and his his neighbors are suing him. Are suing him for that? Mm. Um, Stupid idiot. Yeah, let's let's see. So, um, yeah, you're 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 not a. Let's, what would Furkan do? Oh, okay. So, so here's here's what Furkan did. You're right. He was playing basketball. He plays basketball all the time but what he's also doing when he's playing basketball he's been teasing the neighbor's dog and the neighbor's dog <laughs> is some sort of what's 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 the most expensive dog you can think of what's um mm. is some sort of uh, special uh, toy poodle okay like the special toy poodle and now what's happened is this little <laughs> this, little, this little toy poodle <laughs> Has mental anguish because of Furcon always teasing it. Okay, all right. And Servet, you're you're the you're you're the owner of the toy poodle, Servet. You're you're the one who's upset because your precious toy poodle that costs like five thousand U.S. dollars was a master breeder. She's had four litters before, but now she can no longer have any litters because of um because it just yeah. Okay, well wait here here you go litters. So, Oh yeah, litter. That's when you have. That's when you have puppies. Okay. Right. If you hmm. if you click the link, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's actually it's it's, it's this one. Okay. So here's uh here here's uh here's his special here's your special dog servet. Okay. So this <laughs> this is the one that's been now. ruined. Yeah. Can can no longer have any puppies. So a litter. When a dog has puppies, it has a litter. So this uh, this female dog has had two litters uh, that's produced a lot of money, but it but it can't produce anymore because it's traumatized by this hmm. guy's basketball playing. Okay, um, this time, hey Elmer, you you can be the judge this time. Okay, Elmer, all right. Wow. <laughs> okay, and then Ashan. So Ashan, it's your turn. So you're the uh, you're the dog psychologist. Okay, or dog psychiatrist. Okay, okay. so you're the one who who has to talk to the dog to figure things out, all right? So, everybody got their uh, position? Teacher? teacher? Yes, student. I have I have only 8 minutes. Oh, man. 
Okay. All right. So, yeah, just eight minutes, and then we'll throw in a surprise witness, okay? Go ahead, Elmer. Start it out. So, Furcon has been the one who's been teasing this dog, which is Servet's dog. This is a prize dog that produces puppies at $500 per puppy with 15 per litter, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll try my best. Mm -hmm. Um... Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, today we are here to judge Mr. Furkan, who has been playing basketball for a long, long while, and his playing is so disruptive to Sir Servat's dogs. And the main accusation is that Mrs. Mr. Servat's dogs. Uh, has been having some kind of mental anguish disturbance. So, Mr. Servant, do you have something to say about what's happening to your dogs? Uh, sir, everything was okay until our new neighbor, Furkan, moved my upstairs. And he started playing basketball every day. And we cannot sleep. My dog has problems. He is woofing at all the time. Sometimes I see when I am not at home, Furkan uh, calls my dog, and because and he teases my dog. Then he doesn't give the ball and. All right, so Mr. Servant, yes. do you think that Mr. Furkan is being a disruptive neighbor? Yeah, disruptive neighbor, and that's why my dog... I don't understand why my dog likes him, but he... He's no, no. So, so no. He keeps he keeps teasing your dog, and he's teased your dog to the point to where your dog had like a nervous breakdown, you know, to where it can't function anymore, and it, it can't mate or do anything because of his basketball playing. You know, he's been teasing your dog. Yes, and this affects my dog's social life. Oh, because all the way. Yep, yeah, all the way. My dog. Stays Furkan's doors besides Furkan's door, and that's why he cannot go outside. Uh, she, of course, it's a she. She cannot have a relationship that this affects his. She is always alone. She's psychology is very bad nowadays. Uh, Mr. She Sirvan. cannot produce any give birth, so I have. It affects my economy. All right. So, Mr. Servet, you, said, you mentioned that Mr. Furkin has been teasing our dog to the point that they can't have any kind of relationship anymore. So, do you think that Mr. Furkin has been, you know, doing any kind of abuse to your dogs? I don't know. My dog likes Furkan more than other dogs. Maybe they have a relationship. I don't know. I don't know Furkan, what Furkan is doing to my dog. I have right. doubts. We'll ask... I'm oh, sorry. Let's ask Mr. Furkan about this. So, Mr. Furkan, uh, what do you have to say at your own defense? What, uh, did, you, my, what did you want the dog? Furkan. <laughs> uh, I have to get scholarship from the university, so I have to study basketball and playing all the day basketball. And it's stupid dogs always barking, and they trying to jump in my barn backyard. And of course, I can't let them get inside because they're, you know, they're foolish dogs trying to do something. And I can understand why the servant cares their psychology. They are dogs. <laughs> because psychology affects 
the ability of giving birth and I'm losing money because of you, because of your round ball. And keep your dogs inside your backyard. You are calling my dog. If you don't call, he won't come. Mr. Sir, yeah. I want to hold on one minute and I'm going to ask Mr. Furkan a question. So, you keep insulting Mr. Servet's dogs and you call them foolish, stupid, and you know, all that stuff. But have you ever tried to talk with Mr. Servet in order to, you know, keep his dogs away from your basketball? Playing place, mm, yes. which, is, which is our upstairs. <laughs> I was playing in my backyard, and your dogs have no permission to get my place, basketball place, and they were always trying to do it. And I did something like calling them, and doing uh, teasing. Yeah, but it's not a uh, illegal thing. It's normal. Okay, so Mr. Servat, yes, I have a your, where do you keep your dogs? I have a question. He said he couldn't let my dog to enter his yard. What? If my dog cannot enter his yard, how does he tease my dog? With my force. Yes. Wow, how? <laughs> As you can see, him. Judge, he, he said he teases my dog with force. He, he confessed that with his force. Yes, exactly. With that word, Mr. Furkin, you were confessing that you were forcefully teases Mr. Servet's dogs, and that leads me to you know, and just judgment. Can I ask you something? Is it a illegal thing that tease her, her dog in my backyard? Yes, it is. Why? <laughs> it is my backyard, my room, my castle. No matter if it's your house, if it's your backyard or anything like that, you have to respect the animals because they have a life just like yours. So in this case, I will just tease you every time that you cross hey, my back hey or something like hey that. Guys, you, guys, you know what though? So uh, Laurentino is coming in and Laurentino is actually part of the Supreme Court. So you're in a lower lower circuit court here, Elmer. So uh, the guest judge Laurentino is showing up. Laurentino? Yes. Please, what's, uh, what's your, what's your Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, please uh, rise, everyone. Session started. Uh, so, what's the problem here? You, you you already you already know the issue, Laurentino, but you got you got to pass judgment because there's some sort of uh, the law might not be correct here. Okay, where somebody's dog is uh, coming into somebody else's backyard, that person's teasing the dog. So you, yeah, you might so have to talk to Judge Elmer, mm -hmm. and that's for okay. okay. Anyway, you get it sorted out. Yeah. So who's the owner of the dog? Me, Mr. Sharif. Yes. Survey. Okay. So uh, you're aware that being the owner of the dog makes you responsible for any damage that the dog causes yes. to a person or not? Okay, you realize that. Okay, perfect. Um, and who's and who's the guy who's demanding servant? Who is the guy I'm suing? Yeah, it's me. Furkan. Mm -hmm. So you want to press charges? Yes. Okay. Servant, I'm afraid you'll have to pay Furkan for any damage that may have occurred or not to his background back here. Uh, what are we talking here? Okay. Um, so, if you pay Furkan uh, the bill for all this damage you cause him, uh, the case is solved. 
There's oil. no damage. He didn't say anything yes, about there's damage. damage. His you dog, yeah, there's no damage. <laughs> Look oh. at the size of this dog. Of course, I'm pretty sure there were, there were a lot of damage, but it doesn't matter. If you pay Furkan for all that, the case will be solved. Otherwise, I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to put you in jail, man. This is serious business. If if your dog does something that that is against the law, you're in trouble, my buddy. So can I ask Mr. Furkan a question, please? Yeah. Um, seems the dog has has done a lot of damage to your property. Uh, could you show us a little bit of proofs of the damage that the dogs caused? You can visit my backyard. He destroyed and uh, trampled my grass, uh, bite my basketball ball, and other kind of stuff. Well. You know, all that you brought me were words. I need some kind of physical proofs, and you know, everything serves like pictures, movies. But I cannot bring my backyard to courtroom, isn't it? Yeah, sure, but it's a judgment. So you see you the pictures? You don't. You don't see the pictures? Yeah. <laughs> Here's evidence. Okay, I have an objection. Go ahead, like I said at the beginning of the of the court, I said Furkan calls my dog and teases him. My dog doesn't come up Furkan's yard without their without his invitation. So if he invites my dog to his dog, if he opens the uh, door of the yard, and he is responsible, not me, because he calls the all the thing. He causes, not my dog. And that his this his behavior uh, causes my dog to be uh, apart from other animals. When it's apart from animals, it causes social life and my income. Alright, uh, there's something that I didn't understand at all. Something really confusing with the information that both of you has brought. So, Mr. Servat, you keep your dogs at your property and Mr. Furkan is responsible for taking your dogs away from your property and at his property, he says that the dogs cause a lot of damage. What's so confusing about all this information is that yeah, he says because... that your dog suddenly goes to his property and just make a big mess. Yeah, yeah, my dog may maybe cause some problems there, but this is not my dog's problem. If you, it is an animal. If you tease that animal, if you invite him. And if it is them, this is your responsibility. Anything may happen. If you don't invite my dog, if you don't test him, my dog won't do anything. My dog didn't do anything uh, intentionally, just for diddly. He has some, maybe, reasons. Okay, you guys, this this case isn't going anywhere, so um, you you guys need lawyers, okay? So uh, so so in come the lawyers. So um, Paul, you're gonna you're gonna have to be Servette's lawyer, and Mustafa, <laughs> even though I know, even, even even no, even though I know Mustafa, I know that um, Furkan is like your arch nemesis. You have to actually defend him in this case, okay? And you you guys have to check out the pictures. You know this dog. Set his yard on fire. I mean, oh. burn, 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 <laughs> his house. I mean come on. <laughs> this, this got out of hand, okay? So, so Mustafa and Paul, you guys are the main guys running in here now, okay? So you guys are gonna have to figure it out, okay? Oh, well. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, Your Honor, uh, we've got a proofs 
because we've got a neighbor who saw that uh, Mr. Furkin actually teases uh, service dogs all the time. He tried to hit her with a ball and he, you know, uh, very cruel. Uh, he was very cruel with the dog when she crossed uh, crossed the border of his courtyard. We've got a neighbor who saw that twice or three times. Here is she. Yes, 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 that is true. No, that's <laughs> not true. <laughs> no, no. Yes, it is. No. You, you got to be strong, Mustafa. Go ahead, Don't Mustafa. I mean, there, there's the pictures right there. Okay. Mr. Paul, see the pictures, and you know this dog is wild. This dog. <laughs> this is dog is not a wild. He lives <laughs> with the story for about five years, man. Do you know which dog is wild? And which dog is not wild? Who are you, man? Are you a doctor? Are you? How how is it called, man? Anyway. <laughs> are you a psychiatrist? No, no, not psychiatrist. Uh, <laughs> Veterinarian, yeah. I have so, a farm, so I know which dog is wild. Man, you got you got a farm with a horse. Horse is not a dog. Do you know? Do you know the <laughs> difference between the dog, between the dog that leaves that leaves? The farm, there are, are dogs. There are sheep. There are And we got a testimonial evidence. You can't say that he wasn't because he did. Look, look. He What's did the attack picture? the dog. See the pictures. How how dog can Set house on fire. That's that's horrible. That's not acceptable. House on fire. What are you talking about? <laughs> no house. No fire. <laughs> Look into the, the picture. Honor. See, see the, the honor. picture. What's going on? This guy show me the pictures of some houses in fire, and he claims that the dog. Can, can you believe it? The dog burned, <laughs> burned the house. Your Honor, he's not a lawyer, he's a clown. Yeah, the dog brought a gasoline can and a light, a lighter, you know. Just... No, that's not right, no. He has been it, gasoline. He's a dog, no. you know. It, it, <laughs> it's dog, it's not a man. But it's, it's wild. Dog, it's barkling. But it's wild. Maybe a little bit. And it's wild. Want, it's not dog. To play with people. <laughs> Not to burn the houses. It's ridiculous. Have you ever seen the dog with a, I don't know, dog burning the house or, I don't know, stolen the car? Okay, so, uh, so here comes in Mua. So, Mua, <laughs> you're, you're a dog psychiatrist and you've been dealing with this dog for three years now, okay? So. You got Mustafa. Bring him in. This is your guest witness, Mua. Okay, yes. okay go ahead, Mua. Mustafa. Uh, <laughs> Mua, tell me about this type of dog. I think it's wild dog. Please, please, teacher. Uh, can you can you skip me? <laughs> You're the only one left. <laughs> what am I supposed to call, Ben? <laughs> what, do you, what, do you, what do you want me to call? You know, I'm trying to make sure that everybody gets their turn. Come on, hey, just be a dog psychiatrist. You know, maybe you were prescribing this dog meds. Maybe it had some psychological problems. Maybe the problem is that is that Servette's been teasing his own dog. Okay, <laughs> and that's what caused it to happen. Okay, come on, make it interesting. All right, go ahead, Moa. Uh, sorry, sir, but uh, the problem uh, is uh, in Servat. He's not caring about his dog. Yes, and, I think uh, he take it some drugs. Do you have any so, oh, the dog will be crazy. <laughs> Can you prove that Servat doesn't care about his dog, or you just claiming it without any proof? Look, it's a crazy dog. <laughs> what oh. confusing dog? <laughs> I think he give him some drugs and the dogs will be very you crazy. Feed. You <laughs> can't feed. feed. It's a court. Okay. Mo you can have approve to that. have some evidence. That's okay. all. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mo. Can Mo. you just pay the bills so we can go home? Mr. Psychiatrist, 
do you have something to say to us? Yes, I agree. Servant give him drugs. <laughs> do you have any proofs? Yes. Do you uh, have blood test of the dog? Yes, the I have the blood test in my lab. Yes, I have many Just things. I have papers. <laughs> I have, uh, I have many things. Uh, please, uh, let me give you uh, the the test, the test result. Take, take, Mr. Judge. Servant. Okay. What can you say? So. <laughs> this is my dog. In this blood test, <laughs> you were stating that Mr. Servant... The broken dog, by the way. Okay. This is so, a psychiatrist. It's the wrong photo. Yeah. So, in this blood test, it's saying that the dog is taking testosterone? Why for? Testosterone. Yeah, but it's, I, I it's cannot a, imagine a how can testosterone, you know, affect the, the dog behavior. Can you explain for us, doctor? But I have an objection. I don't give my dog this drug. I only give that food that I bought on a stores. This food originally contains that thing, and it helps the dog to be... Uh, it, you you must give that food to your dog if you are if your dog is if you f if you have a dog in a social city amongst people that and this drug helps your dog to be calm. It but helps your you honor, you honor. Your dog I'm void. sorry. You know yes. what I think. Because of Mo is a dog psychiatrist and he works with the dog for three years, I think that he and Mr. Furkan are in a uh, criminal collusion because it's uh, Mo who gave the dog these drugs to set my client up. I don't see the, this dog in all my life. I, I <laughs> I'm talking about three years. I'm not talking about your life. I'm not interested about your life at all. And nobody. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mr. Honor, Furkan, to have a decision. Yes, uh, Mr. Furkan, uh, yes. would you let us to give the police an intervention to check your house if they can find any trace of testosterone? Because you know you play basketball, you are an athlete, and I'd like the police to check your your room if they can find any kind of trace of testosterone. Do you agree with that? You can find any of these hormones, but you cannot prove anything. I don't give his dogs. They're precious hormones, and I don't give these little monsters. If you have Mr. any steroids in your house, you got to be blamed, and you got to go to the prison. Excuse me, lawyer. Excuse me. Uh, Mr. Furkin, you just said that we can find testosterone at your room, which can easily incriminate you. And he also said, my dog, monster. This shows he doesn't like dogs, animals at all. Uh, Mr. Furkin, do you have yeah. any kind of psychologist or do you seek any kind of doctor? Because, you know, uh, you show us some, um, you know, dog phobic behavior. Things like you don't like dogs, you call them monsters, you call them freaks, you call them foolish dogs. His dog is as big as me. So He's almost 180 meters. Right. So of course I want to say. So do you mean that giraffes are also monsters because they are like five times bigger than you? It's their natural hate, but wait, but this is enormous. I can't say it's a dog. But it's a dog. It barks, it has feelings, you know, and it has a, a life just like you. So we have no right to just tease the dog. And if you give the dog any kind of drugs, 
you know that we are going to arrest you in the charge of poisoning your neighbor's dog. Are you aware of that? Yeah, I'm aware of that, but they tried to get in my backyard and I couldn't let them in get inside. So I didn't what, give what do you have done any... when the dogs tried to get inside your backyard? What do you have done? Mm, I tried to uh, I tried to talk with them, but they they're like monsters. They it's obvious they took some hormones like testosterone. They were crazy. Their eyes was red, and I had nothing to do, so I ran away until they go. Mr. Elmar, I have a question. If Mr. Furkan hate dogs and don't touch dogs, how he will give him drugs? To, I think kill, he to can, kill my dog. I think he can do that. Yeah, he can do it because no. he doesn't like my dog and he wants to kill him. No, no, he can do that. He hate dogs. He doesn't like yes. dogs. Exactly. He hates dogs. He fear dogs somehow, and that's a good reason to try to to kill no. Mr. Servet's dogs. Yes, it no. is. No. You know, if you fear no, no. something that's really common on our our humankind, you can see that everything that we fear, we try to exterminate. So in this case, I may presume by my own that Mr. Furkan tried to kill Mr. Servet's dogs based on what he's saying but we need some investigation before I we want, can charge Mr. Furkan I want to research in Servet House attempt. I want to research in Servet House about some drugs or about anything I think Mr. Servet have many bad drugs give to the drugs. Do you have the amplified grounds to say that my client has a lot of drugs or steroids in his house or just another your thought? Oh. I guess it is. You cannot do with it with Assumptions you said uh, we try to exterminate that we hate, but you're just assuming you have no evidence, no proof. You exactly. say that you hate this dog, you call yeah, the I dog a monster. Yeah, I hate Justin Bieber, but I don't kill him. We don't say about you kill her. He said, I hate dogs, but he don't, doesn't hurt dogs. There are some people who hate dogs, but they aren't hate dog. But... Is that your dog, Servette, in the picture? <laughs> are you My sure dog your dog is... wasn't taking steroids? <laughs> it is a she. It is just a little cute dog. <laughs> <laughs> it gives birth. <laughs> My God. <laughs> I think Mr. Elmar we should ask the neighbors about Mr. Furkan and they will tell you that Mr. Furkan don't hurt any dogs in all his life so he can't you know what I think dog. Mr. Mustafa I think that we need proofs. I don't need words. I don't need anyone to tell me, wow, he's a good guy and he doesn't deserve to be arrested. What I mean here is proofs. The house is on fire, so how we can... No, the prove. house is not on fire. That's a picture, and a picture could be taken from anywhere. Okay, Your Honor, I, as I told you, we've got a neighbor, Mrs. Clarkson, who saw many times that Furkan had, you know, that bad behavior of Furkan that he he teases the dog, he hit her or he hit uh, the dog with a ball and a lot of many, a lot of really bad things because as he said he hate dogs. <coughs> okay, call him. First of all, she's a 70 year old woman. She's 70 year old woman without any... She's a 70 thing. year old woman with a camera. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
اوكي شو اصل بيكتشرز وير از ذا بيكتشر مستر بول بيكتشر اوف وات ويف جات ا فيديو يو اون ا لوك ات اوكي وير از ذا فيديو اوف مستر بول But in that video, look, I was calling my friend John, and I said, "John, come here. I open my, uh, I open my backyard, and how can I know the servant dog's name was John?" And the John tried to get in with my friend, and he scared, it scared my friend, and John get inside, got inside uh, my backyard, and I have to, I have to do something. Broken. And no. that's. Why you were gi- having a, like barbecue party, and you throw your alcohol glass to my dog, and suddenly the alcohol hit the barbecue, and your home set fire, and your home is. And what were your dog doing now. in there? What were your dog th- doing in my backyard? Because he got used to you. You are always inviting him. No. And yes. She's she's on your responsibility. On your responsibility, you have to uh, take your dog outside my backyard. It's on my respon- it's my it's my responsibility. But if you invite them, I cannot do anything. I cannot do every time with my dog. If you don't invite, invite him, is this guy a your friend? No, I didn't. This, I didn't know this guy. Guy, <laughs> the guy in the video is not your friend. This is the video <laughs> evidence. Okay, let's see what really started fire. This looks girl. like your best. This I looks like your it. best friend, Furkan. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like you have a really big party, <laughs> and the smell of the meat. It's not good if you don't like dogs. Yeah. Buddy, you just can to pay ten thousand dollars to my client, and that's all. Ten thousand dollars, but I didn't do anything to his dog. I think Mr. Servet should pay about one thousand dollars to Mr. Furkan. His dog <laughs> set your house on fire. So he has in house. You don't oh. have any proofs, but Forkan have to pay for the moral hurt to my client. Moral hurt, and who will pay my house money? I have no Your insurance housing. company. I have some picture, and the dog is responsibility of Mr. Servitz. So yeah, and the. Uh, She, the dog is responsible for the war in Afghanistan too. No. Oh no! Really? Are you sure this isn't where the fire started? Look at this guy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this looks this like I, the golf. This, this is where the fire started. <laughs> she saw exactly that man in your backyard many times. Many times. <laughs> He's crazy. That's absolutely. <laughs> and all these drunk girls. Oh, and look, and look at these guys. So, there's Furcon. <laughs> <laughs> This yeah. is a real evidence. You're busted, Furcon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're stuck, man. Furkan, <laughs> <laughs> you have some really dumb friends. Look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh, you are so busted. <laughs> you are so busted, man. It's all you and your buddy. You know. <laughs> God, how can how can you blame this whole thing on this dog? You know, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. This is horrible. But look at this. Look at this. Do we have to see this again? <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> okay, sorry guys, but you know. Okay, so uh, <laughs> Laurentino, what's the final? What's the final judgment, Laurentino? Servant, you have to pay Furkan for all the damage, and that concludes this session. Servant, <laughs> we just saw his crazy friends. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. And, I, and I repeat, and I repeat again, it's not because I'm friends with Furkan and Paul. It is not because of that. <laughs> Man, who are you? What, what, what am I hearing here? I hear a whisper. Corruption. Servant, <laughs> 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 where's what your block? Here? Let's kill these guys. <laughs> <laughs> the death penalty. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be killed. <laughs> <laughs> there it is again. He started the fire, not the dog. What I think about? that we have to find this crazy friend of Furka. <laughs> yeah, this is this is Furka's <laughs> friend, though, Laurentino. You get a pay. <laughs> so yeah, he's uh, he he's the he's the one. Okay, so anyway, guys. There's well, hey guys, let me uh. Let, let me cut this early, okay? So, but, uh, yeah, anyway, this is... <laughs> you notice all the women stay away, right? <laughs> you know, they're, they're all... They're, none of them are here anymore, okay? So, anyway, and by the way, the, the real dog culprit's this one, okay? <laughs> that's, that's, that's been the problem all along. But anyway, guys, good, uh, good job. I didn't really correct much of your English just because I was having too much fun. So, but, um... Yeah, anyway, this seems like a good game. Keeps you guys active, keeps you going, <laughs> keeps you thinking as well, okay? Mo, change your name, okay? No right. problem. No okay, problem. no problem, but you keep telling me that all the time. Anyway, no, Servet, no, glad, <laughs> glad to have you in the class, Servet. Paul, Mustafa, Furkan, Laurentino. I'm going to have to get a name for you guys. You guys, you guys are going to have to. I'm, I'm going to think of some name. You guys are like a pack of, uh, you're a motley crew. I'll think of something better, yeah, okay? Yeah, anyway, Joe. guys, yeah, take care <laughs> of yourself, okay? Thank you for the class. Thank you, Thanks for the class. We miss you. I miss you. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> See ya. See ya.